Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So in this tutorial we will be going through some basic primitives. We will be going through some AC extended primitives over here. So let's get started. So let's just take a plane over here. Just for the beginners. So you can create your own railings also. You can go into AC extended. You can take a railing over here. So you have a railing part, you can create some railing sections over here. Into this railing section, you can go into this, you can increase, decrease the length. You have a profile over here, you can change the profile, you can change this depth, width, height. You can go into this rail over here and you can change the number of counts over here. You can increase, decrease the counts if required that can be done over here so I can do that let's just keep it as uh, 2 over here for right now I'll make it as round I'm gonna make square you can keep it square you can increase decrease the depth width and you can just go down you have post option over here this are your post the number of post you need you can just assign the number of post required you can just click OK over here you can change the depth, you can change the width, you can change the extensions, bottom. Solid fill can also be given over here. We can give that solid fill. So solid fill you can, if you increase the solid fill, you can increase, decrease the thickness, the offset, your bottom offset, your left offset. Again you can click on this pickets. So how we can utilize it? So for example, let's let's take uh, let's take a line over here, right from the top view. For example, I'm making a road over here, like this. So I'll just select this line over here. Enable in viewport. I'll increase its length and width over here that can be changed over here I can just go over here I can slightly just place this over here or you can again take a line over here and escape it go into the vertices let's go into this all right so let's just select this select this railing over here you have option over here that's called a pick railing path let's click on this uh, path over here and I'll increase its segments over here so I'll slightly shuffle this select this pick railing path and put it over here and increase its segments so once you increase its segments over here as you can see your railing has been created on the path so now you have other options like you can increase decrease the post settings if you want you can increase this you can decrease this that is possible over here so whatever you want to create that is created using this railing option so railing can also be created also on the circular surfaces like if you take a circle over here and i can create it over here also so if you again just take a copy of it pick railing path and I can put it on top of it so you can get a railing over here on this also so that is totally manageable and over here if you change the settings of this line or if you shift shuffle the vertices is definitely going to affect this uh, railing section that is over here 
that can be done so you can go down over here you have also some stairs ready made stairs you can utilize the stairs you can use the stairs over here so i can create this different different types of stairs these are just presets you can create your own also you can use open you can create using a box so if you want you can do it with other way also i have a option over here let's take a box over here like this let's go over here let's go into tools and there is option called array let's click on array over here into that array you have x y and z i'll go into this and i'll let's take let's take the copy activate this preview activate this preview over here and now what i want over here is like i want to move this in x axis i can easily move it in x axis in this way and if i want that i want a bit up also i can shuffle it in z axis also so that is totally possible over here and if you want that you want to increase the number the numbering can also be increased over here let's make it to 20 over here so if you look at it you can slightly shuffle this that is possible and once you're done you can just click okay so this is also the way you can do it so a uh, different different ways to create also if you create something like this over here you can go into tools use an array over here click on preview and you have a option over here that's your rotation if you want you can rotate it but let me keep it as zero right now you can rotate this if you see you can easily rotate it and if you want to move it in y axis you can easily move it in y axis you can rotate it in whatever axis you want the rotation if you want some kind of a deforming deformation shapes you can do that so that is also uh, possible over here this is a rotation form in whatever rotations you want to give you can give those rotations so if you go into the stairs you have different different kinds of stairs you have l type of stairs you can use different kind of stairs closed box railing left right you can get this rail path length width overall height so this can be utilized with the dimensions also if you are utilizing it or you can create your own that's not a problem so that is also possible you can create of your own also if required carriage you can go into this you can use a carriage width if you need this kind of a carriage a support or something railings so we can just give some railings but you need to activate the railings option from the top then only you can use this railings over here segments your spiral stairs you can use a spiral stairs also you can go over here clockwise counter clockwise in whatever ways you want you can just give that over here all right so there are multiple things which you can be created over here we have definitely multiple presets you can check out the u type stairs also over here that can also be created closed box left if you need railing if 
you want in a closed form length width you can increase the length width over here so you can go with the dimensions also overall height riser height the same parameters your carriage carriage and railings if you are given the railings you can activate this stuff over here all right okay so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so we have gone through some basic presets over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so thanks for watching this tutorial